Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And I want to apologize for last night. I wasn't able to make a wireless recap episode. I got called into work. Around this time of the year, we're about three to four times as busy. So all the employees get moved to on call. So starting next week, I'm going to start dropping the episodes in the afternoon. I wanted them to be a prime time thing. But until things calm down at work, I'm going to start making the episodes in the afternoon. So in today's video, I wanted to point out some interesting stuff happening at Sprint. So Sprint buys out European partner in store expansion. For some reason, Marcelo is set on Sprint adding stores all over. This partnership originally wanted two years into it, opened up 500 stores together. Now Sprint has bought them out. So it looks like Sprint will keep 100 stores of that partnership that has been opened. And right now, Marcelo is all about stores, stores, stores. As they expand the network and, you know, upgrade cell sites in certain areas where they improve the network, they want to also improve their retail footprint. And they're strongly showing this here again by buying out the European partner. It didn't show a price or anything like that, how much Sprint spent, but they bought them, bought them out. So next... Here's another indication that this is happening. Sprint sees 60 new retail stores leveraging recent network improvements. So in a lot of areas where they are improving the network to a certain extent, they are adding stores accordingly. So this is happening in the New England and Boston area. They upgraded 630 cell sites across that entire area. And now they want to add retail stores. I mean, it makes sense that they want to improve their footprint. But... I think the network does need to improve prior to them adding the retail footprint. And I don't know, I just don't know if Sprint is doing this at a fast pace. I know it's happening even here in the New Mexico market. They're starting to add native LTE coverage through a partnership. From what I've been hearing, Albuquerque is getting carrier aggregation on band 25, band 41 popping up. El Paso is drastically slower in that regards of a rollout i'm tracking it I'm, I'm going to these cell sites and i haven't seen any new equipment at it so this is good for sprint that they're doing this i've seen other articles now that are saying is sprint possibly the comeback carrier and they've been saying that for quite some time but marcelo is plan is slowly starting to to work itself out he said three to five years he, he will turn Sprint around and slowly but surely he's making them better than what they used to be. But I don't see them being anywhere close to the top three as of yet. But who knows? They I don't know what their plans are internally. Um, they do talk a bit more about it than AT&T or Verizon. But I'm sure internally in the conference rooms and those meetings sure would like to hear what they're talking about there but this is a good indication that sprint can be able to maintain on their own as a company and still make these type of improvements as far as the merger goes merger of course would help both companies in different departments as far as t-mobile and sprint you know spring spring spectrum customers and then of course t-mobile would with their expanded expansion of LTE, it will help Sprint customers. But I think Sprint can do it on their own. They just have to keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, and actually accomplish what they set out to do. They said by the end of July, all remaining 3G only sites will be LTE. And then we will see how the voiceover LTE starts to work out for Sprint. I've seen reports it's already active in certain areas and people have been saying it works fine. I don't know. I haven't seen anything official, so I will definitely keep a lookout for that. So stay tuned to the channel. I have a lot more content coming as things calm down at work. You're going to start seeing a lot more content. There's a lot of stuff to be talked about and to be reported to you guys. So I want to be on top of that. I appreciate all the support. Shout out to all the new subscribers, new viewers. Much appreciated. Give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated. keeps me going. 
like share subscribe comment in the comment section down below i'm sure you guys want to get interactive on this topic so i will see you guys in the next video peace